guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing another feature video. This time it is on this very nicely modified Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art. This one is owned by Nick. So I'll put his Instagram up on the screen so you guys can go check the car out more. But so what we're gonna be doing is just doing a full feature. So to walk around to the car, go over all the mods that he's done. Uh, we'll get some flybys and some revs at the end so you guys can hear what the car sounds like. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I know we get a lot of people wanting to see more rally arts on the channel. So yeah, this one is really nice. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Okay, so starting off with the exterior mods, as you can see, the car is in the very nice titanium color. It's a 2014 rally art as well. So late model, very nice and tidy. So we'll start off at the front here. As you can see, he's got the, the V-Land Audi style headlights. He's got some orange bulbs in his fog lights that actually match the orange accents he's gone on the car. So he's got the Flow Designs front lip here with the orange pinstriping that you can see there, which sort of flows over the rest of the car. So he's also got those on the factory bonnet vents there as well. Um, coming around to the side, it's got some smoked or tinted side indicators or side markers. It's got the Flow Designs side skirts side extensions also with the orange pinstriping uh, we've got some weather shields the rear um, weather shield I guess you call it the looks really nice um, little another touch of the orange pinstriping there it's got an Evo 10 style rear wing So yeah, so the back of the car looks really nice. Um, and then the tail lights, he has some aftermarket V-Land LED Audi style tail lights as well. The blacked out rear badge. And it's the factory diffuser with a nice X-Force cat back exhaust. Car also has um, an underglow kit, but a bit sunny out today to see it. There is his Instagram there. So I believe that's about it for the exterior. Now I'll move on to the wheels, tyres and suspension. Okay, so moving on to the wheels, tyres, suspension and brakes. You can see the car is sitting really nicely on a good set of wheels. So he has just recently picked these up in the last two weeks. So he's got himself a set of work ZR10s, which as you guys would know if you watch the channel, we absolutely love these, um, as Leticia has them on her Revo. So these are in the gloss black also. Um, these are an 18 by 9.5 plus 38 with a 255 35 18 Yokohama Advan 8008R tyre. So very aggressive fitment, super nice on the rally art. A little bit of poke. So if we come around to the front here, you can see. Looks really good. He's actually got a 3mm spacer in there because on the back, he was slightly rubbing, he said, um, on the brake line bracket. So, yeah, this is sort that out, but yeah, really nice fitment there. Very grippy tyres and good quality wheels. Um, so, then for the, it's got some Muteki orange lug nuts or gold, but it really matches the theme of the car. Um, painted the calipers in a orangey gold I guess color so the suspension is D2 RS series coilovers and yeah I believe that is about everything I'm not sure on the brake pads but yeah stock rotors um, so yeah we'll move on to the interior mods now but just to step back if you guys not look at those wheels and just do a little walk around see it really suits So yeah, he used to have some other wheels and as soon as he's put these on, it's transformed the car. I really, really think this looks great. So yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a good look at it. So yeah, with that done, let's jump in and look at the interior mods. All right, so moving into the interior, as you can see, there's not much done in here, but it has been nicely modded with a set of genuine Evo 10 Recaro seats. So that's a Big transformation there of the rally art seats. Um, just got some genuine OEM rally art floor mats. It's got a boost gauge. 
and actually has just picked up an Android 10.2 inch head unit but didn't quite get it fitted in time. Um, other than that, he's looking at sort of um, changing a few parts out. He's telling me like these silver accents and yeah, pretty stock interior but not much need to be done because it is a later model so it has the nicer parts such as the leather at the top of the door cards here, the softer padded leather here on the sides. So yeah, nice comfy place to be. But that's about it for the interior. So we'll move on to the engine mods now. All right, so moving on to the engine mods. So it's just started modifying this area. And as you can see, he has picked up a Evo 10 or Rally Art earlier model aluminium valve cover. He's just picked it up recently um, and he has painted that. It's also got the Evolution by Design intake manifold cover, painted orange also, and as well as the Evolution by Design um, coil, uh, sorry, manifold heat deflector. And the coil cover, plus the Mivec and cam sensor heat shields, so nicely protected. One that I missed was also the firewall. So those are all from Evolution by Design, and yeah, keeping the engine nice and safe. Bunch of them painted orange, which I think he's going to redo professionally. But yeah, for now, looks really good. Goes with the theme of the car. Um, the car also has an Evo 10 front mount intercooler. And it's actually got the, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got the AK Racing logo painted in orange. Um, then it has Plasma Man full cast aluminium intercooler piping, which has been painted black. Um, we have a Myvec Y Tuck kit. So it looks really nice. No more wires going over the engine. Um, Turbo Smart Compact Plumback Blower Valve. It's got the custom TDO4 tubular manifold. And then it's running the stock Rally Art Turbo with the Turbo Smart 18 psi wastegate actuator. Uh, it's got a stock intake with the tuned by AK high flow panel filter. Um, also running an X-Force full dump pipe exhaust with the X-Force uh, one cell test pipe, res delete and extended tips. It's then been tuned by AK Racing on 98 fuel with 23 PSI. And here comes the rain, so I'm just gonna wait for that and come back and finish filming this one. All right guys, as you can see, it started actually raining while I was filming the engine mods, but what I didn't get to was the power um, he hasn't had it retuned since he added a few other parts, but it's making around the high 190s to 200 kilowatt at the wheels range. So definitely a nice um, power and pretty quick rally art. So yeah, that is all the mods. What we need to do now is probably wait for this rain to just sort of settle a bit. And I just want to get the car to start up, get some revs for you guys, and also a few flybys so you can hear what the car sounds like. It does actually shoot really big flames and lots of pops and crackles. So yeah, we'll do that shortly. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy.
right guys so that is everything we wanted to cover for this car so yeah we've gone over all the mods we've done a bit of a walk around so you guys can get a good look at it uh, we've got the owner to start it up give it some revs so you guys can hear it and also do a few flybys so hopefully you enjoyed this one i've uh, been trying to get some more rally arts we do have two more rally arts already that i'm talking to the owners to try and get to film um, plus some more evos but other than that i'm also going to be actually filming some other cars soon this style of video so hopefully you guys are keen to see that because the brisbane car scene we have here and gold coast it is just the amount of quality builds there is it's a shame to only show the evos and rally arts so yeah soon you guys will see probably a few more different types of cars um, got an R34 Skyline that I'm in talks to try and organise to film, a really big power one, so hopefully you guys are keen. But with all that said, that's going to be it for this video, so I will chuck Nick's Instagram up on the screen again. Make sure you go give him a follow and say thanks for letting me film the car. Um, give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think of this one. Um, subscribe if you aren't already, but with all that said, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one.